When you use an app, all you have to do is open the app, touch a button or two, maybe type something, and ta-da. Almost like magic, it does what you want. But how does the app work so well? How does it take your input and immediately respond to do exactly what you want it to? Is it a mystery? Or is it because behind every app is a sophisticated structure that lets the app and the user interact? Let's look at the structure or the architecture of an app, including the layers behind the user interface that makes the app work. Mobile apps are built in layers. There's the view layer, the controller layer, and the model layer, which is sometimes called the data layer. The view layer is the part of the app that the user sees and interacts with. That's why it's called the user interface. We often refer to it as just the UI. The UI is a collection of graphical elements like buttons, icons, and images that the user interacts with. In the mystery app you explored in a previous activity, the UI contained text boxes, check boxes, and buttons that you use to interact with the app. In MIT App Inventor, you use the designer to create and manage the UI of your app. Hello. But how did the mystery app know to read the words that were in the text box? Or know to change the background color to red when you selected the red checkbox? Although apps may seem intelligent, they can only do what they've been programmed to do. So this is where the controller layer comes in. The controller layer contains the program, or the instruction that tells the app exactly how to behave. In App Inventor, you create and control your program in the blocks editor. So in the mystery app, the app knew to read and then act on the words that were typed in the text box, and knew to change the background color to red because the program and the controller layer contained instructions for how to respond to both of these events. Each user action or event in the UI triggers the program, which in turn instructs the app how to respond. The final layer of an app's structure is the model layer. The model layer processes the data and information that the app uses. This data can be pulled from a database, entered by a user, or gathered from a sensor. The layers of an app's architecture are constantly working together to create the desired experience for the user. Now that you have a little background about the internal architecture of apps, you may wonder how computer scientists go about actually developing apps. This time, the answer is no mystery. Computer scientists work very closely with their customers and the end users to determine the look and functionality of the app. This means that before they start building their app, they first need to understand what their users want and need. After they have this understanding, they can decide what the app should look like and how it should behave. Now it's time for you to become computer scientists and begin to build your first app.